Um, friends, wherever you are, it is my greatest joy to share with you um, our Christmas message at this particular time when most of us actually are um, pinned down with the COVID conditions. Uh, some have not had the opportunity even to join their own families to celebrate Christmas. But I want just to remind ourselves of critical things about Christmas. First, today I want my focus is on two important women who form part of the uh, Jesus birth narrative. We have Mary, the mother of Christ. We also have Elizabeth, um, her relative, who was also uh, in, a, in a privileged position of giving birth to John the Baptist in a rather spectacular way. These two women, to me, they are the most important women ever mentioned in the New Testament and also inform part of our understanding of the role of women in the birth narrative of Jesus. Mary, as we know, came from a very humble background. And despite the fact that she had been betrothed to marry, uh, to marry uh, uh, Joseph, her lifestyle her conviction, her devotion to moral purity, everything that Mary stood for actually earned her a very big hands up. And uh, in that particular case, we find a person who, was, who knew what to share with others. In our culture, we normally say that women are gossipers. Women never keep secrets, which is not true in this particular case. Mary had had a revelation from God that she was going to give birth. So first of all, she was going to be pregnant and then give birth to our Lord Jesus Christ. That joy alone would have prompted her to share the story with all who matters in her life. But we learn a lesson that there comes a time that there are certain things we have to keep to ourselves. We allow God to reveal them to others at his own appointed time. So Mary kept this a top secret. So top a secret that she could not even share it with Joseph. Elizabeth on the other side also had the same top secret. Elizabeth could not share that message with any other person other than the one that the Lord had anointed. In our life, there are certain things which are for keeping. There are certain things which we don't have to share with others unless we are authorized to do so. Mary won the heart of many. When she remained humble, she was not even um, mesmerized by the fact that she was to give birth to the Lord. Sometimes when we are identified with such achievement, we elevate ourselves so much. We look down upon others and we are overwhelmed. Mary remained controlled by the spirit of humility to the very end. That's the spirit I want us to share. How could we remain humble? Even when we are elevated to a certain position, even when it becomes clear that we are more blessed than others, where, how do we remain humble? The way Mary and Elizabeth remained. So my message to you, my fellow friends, 
is to remain humble. Let God touch our hearts with that spirit and share our joy with those who understand what joy means. Thank you and may God bless you as you celebrate Easter, I mean as you celebrate um, the, the joy of Christmas and as you enter into the new year. Thank you and may God bless you.